What's going on YouTube? This is your boy The Vintage Man back with another video and today you read the title you see we talking about man and most of it is these upcoming all-star weekend releases it is a whole bunch of shoes coming out and last night i went live for like maybe two minutes and my audio was messed up uh but i was talking about man i'm gonna go broke during this all-star weekend because there's so many pairs dropping man so if you're new to the channel right now what i need you guys to do is subscribe right now we right around the corner from at 25k help your boy out by sharing and liking the content that really helps a lot and i really really do appreciate all the love and support if you don't mind head over to instagram right now it will be linked down below follow your boy on ig at the vintage where i posted a couple pictures on there this last week go ahead over there go like the pictures go check out the drip and i'd be highly appreciated as well man so all that being said let's jump right into this video talking about these upcoming all-star weekend sneaker releases man let's get it all right so today has been very very eventful man so i want to start off by saying if you don't have the j23 app you definitely need the j23 app right now i'm not sponsoring this app at all but it really does help a lot of you guys that really want to get these shock drops these sneaker passes especially if you're living in chicago los angeles areas they always giving those select cities a little sneaker stashes or sneaker passes whatever you want to call it i just call them shock drops because they come out of nowhere and if you were in chicago you more than likely don't get a pair if you the first one on the app and especially if you're in Los Angeles as well, man, they get a lot of sneaker passes as well. So download the J23 app right now that I really help you guys out a lot. And I always put this in my how to cop videos because a lot of people don't know about the J23 app. I think it costs like $1.99 forever and it sends you notifications as soon as stuff drops. And today we had the Air Jordan 1 um, New Beginners Pack release. And it was a sneaker pass and i think the the cities were chicago if i'm not mistaken i know a lot of people are already like expecting a lot of shoes to get sneaker pass in chicago because the all-star weekend is in chicago man so that is very dope i wish i could make it up there and i would be super lit if i could i'm not going to doubt me going to chicago this weekend yet uh but hopefully i can make my way up there just to see some of the vibes check out how chicago scenery is and that'd be very dope to me and i would definitely bring you guys along with me so yeah they had the air Jordan one new beginners pack drop and as y'all know the resale price on those are going super super crazy i think it's a limited size run on those as well just like on the air Jordan ones 85 rc red that they dropped it's only 23,000 pairs made and i can just imagine how many pairs of this new beginners pack is made as well man they dropped a whole bunch of these shoes like you know the thir the 13 and 14 uh dmps and the shoes they was gonna play 500 dollars, but nobody really wanted them so i guess people are really digging this new uh beginners pack and everybody's trying to get them so that's why you see the price a uh, resale price of course jumping out the roof man and another shoe that did a sneaker pass today like i said get j23 app was the air jordan 3 uh chicago's you know what i'm saying these right here they have the knights but on the back they have shot on the back very dope i think it's different style codes and it has like a different insole on the air jordan 3 shies man so if you were able to reserve your pair on either ones the new beginners pack or the Air Jordan 3 uh, Chicago's, man. Let me know down below. I definitely want to see some pictures, a better up close of, you know, saying the difference between these and the Air Jordan 3 Chicago's, man. I feel like they're very similar. Uh, the only thing I think was different was the insole and, of course, the back where it has Nike Sha. This one has Nike Air on the back, man. I feel like this one was dope as well. Uh, I knew that I was probably going to take an L on the Air Jordan 3 Chicago's. It's probably going to be super limited. The resale going to be high just because of the Sha on the back and the all-star weekend is in chicago so i can see a lot of pairs floating around up there maybe a whole bunch of like sneaker passes um exclusive access to chicago to get you a pair of the air jordan 3 chicago's so like i said if i make my way up there this weekend i would definitely try my best to get a pair of the air jordan 3 shots that'd be dope to have these uh unites and the air jordan 3 chicago's in a collection man i'd be very very lit i'm not pretty sure on how they're going to do the air jordan 1 new beginnings like i said i do know they did the sneaker pass today but you never know how the all-star weekend goes they might do some shock drops here shock drops there there. that's why i'm highly encouraging everybody right now if you're watching the video download the j23 app right now because it would definitely help you especially if you're going up to that chicago area man you might find yourself getting a new beginners pack you might find yourself getting the air Jordan three chicago's and it's a whole bunch of other shoes releasing this all-star weekend this friday we have the air jordan one unt chicago women's that's supposed to be releasing i put in on uh the new flex program or flex app whatever you want to call it and I put my size in, I use my points to get that 
uh, three minute or the three extra head starts, whatever it is. I still do not know how to work the app, so please don't call me on any of this. But I put in, you know, my extra points and stuff, and hopefully I hit on a pair this Friday that we'll be releasing. And also I put in for the off white fives. I put Chicago in. I was making a huge mistake by hitting the little location thing next to where you type in a city, uh, but you actually have to hit return if you have iPhone. I'm gonna go more into details on my how to cop video over the off white fives so I can help you guys out because I didn't know that at all. Shout out the Jada sneaker guy he really helped me out he called me he was like bro what you doing wrong and I figured it out man so hopefully I hit on a pair of those off-white files that's why I'm really questioning me going up to Chicago this upcoming weekend man because if I hit on those you know your boy got to catch a flight straight to Chicago and I might sit up there for the whole weekend you know just to check out the vibes see how it really is in Chicago I hear nothing but great things about Chicago man so that'd be lit if I hit on them off-white fives you guys let me know right now if you put in for the raffle on the new Foot Locker app for the off white fives or either uh the air Jordan one unc chicago women's man hopefully i can get those i feel like that's the easier pair to get if you check like the stock x you check the different resale prices and stuff like that you can see where those are only going for like 250 bucks in the size nine usually that's the money size so you can just kind of tell right there you kind of gauge where the resale is going to go so people you know what i'm saying this is going to be widely available or people really ain't feeling it because there's so many other shoes are releasing and People probably like put them on the back burner just because they want to get the off white fives. It's probably gonna go for like a thousand dollars. And uh, the new beginners pack, the Air Jordan 3 Chicago's, and a whole bunch of other releases this upcoming All Star weekend. We're also getting the uh, Nike LeBron 7 All Star uh, this upcoming weekend, and it's like an all blue colorway. It's very dope. I'm putting a picture up right here so you can check it out. I really like it. Uh, it's definitely something I would cop if it wasn't so many other things releasing uh, this weekend. And you also got the Air Jordan 10 wings releasing as well. Maybe a pass for me because usually all I do is hooping my 10s. And this one right here is a little, a little too much on the shoe. I don't see myself hooping in this one right here because I wouldn't want to get it dirty. But every time I get a pair of Jordan 10s, they go straight to the court, man. So you guys let me know how you feel about these Air Jordan 10 wings as well, man. Very dope, all white. And it has a translucent outsole, which I haven't seen on the Air Jordan 10 um, ever, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not saying that it has not had a translucent outsole. I'm just saying I have never seen uh, a pair of 10s with the translucent outsole. And we're also getting the Yeezy 700 V3 Oblas I was talking about in my last Yeezy season video. Very dope, all black shoe. You guys know how I feel about those shoes. If I can cop, man, I'm definitely going to try to cop. But like I said, so much coming out to where like... I'm not trying to go broke this All-Star Weekend, man. So many shoes coming out. You got to like, you know what I'm saying, pick which ones you really want. And if I had to choose which one I really, really wanted, it will probably be the Off-White Fives. And if I couldn't get those, it'd have to be, like I said, the Air Jordan 1. You want to see Chicago's, man. Hopefully, I can get either one. But if I had to choose one shoe out of this whole weekend, it would have to be the Off-White Fives. I want you guys to let me know right now. If you had to pick from all these shoes that we talked about in this video, let me know right now in the comment section below what will be that number one shoe. I feel like a lot of people are going to say the Off-White Files or even those Air Jordan New Beginners pack. You guys let me know right now in the comment section below. I have still not had a pair of these Yeezy 700 V3s in my hand. I haven't seen how they look. I haven't seen any reviews or on feats over this shoe just because I cannot wait to get me a pair officially, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully I get me a pair soon. And if I strike out on a whole bunch of these shoes, I'm definitely not paying resale for the off white fives. So I might end up getting those Yeezy V3s. And I feel like the Air Jordan 1 you and Chicago's are pretty much like secure because it's not a lot of money in that shoe. So a lot of resellers around here probably won't try to go out and get them so hopefully your boy hit on those so i'm already gonna mark that up as a w man but you never know your boy might end up with that huge l i appreciate everybody for tuning into this video man if you don't mind please hit that like button right now that really shows youtube you guys are enjoying the content and that shows me that you guys are enjoying the content as well subscribe if you have not subscribed already and hit the notification bell for your boy so you never miss another video or live stream that drops on the channel and head over to instagram right now and give your boy a follow it will be linked down below. And with all that being said, I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Giveaway is coming real soon, man. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So I'm going to give you a quick, quick little tip for this upcoming giveaway. Right now, what you have to do, if you're not doing it already, is follow me over on Instagram. So if you are not, hit the link in the description box below and go follow your boy at The Vengeance World, man. Like I said, dope giveaway coming up soon. You guys hit the notification bell and you guys will see that video dropping tomorrow for the actual giveaway rules and what all you have to do to win you something very very special man so, so like i said stay tuned 
Hit notification bell for your boy and go follow me over on IG right now for more updates. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one, man. Peace.